Boom! What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 42 of Let's Nerd with Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Tortured Hearts. We're back here at Glide's Cave, and we're about to leave and get into some adventure. So because Glide has left the area, we can embark on new content, possibly. It down because some people are going to be happy that he's gone. So let's find out who's happy about it and what they have to say. So, as you know, I pretty much botched the Glide quest, it's all good, but I know I could have waited until later and came back and did it right and tried to beat that encounter but like I said it's all good we're having fun I want to see what she thinks of it greetings and well met there. Whoops. Very JRPG-esque, and I got copy behind the door. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna go check live. Maybe talk to the mayor or the captain or somebody there gonna make sense out of all this for us and if nothing unique happens there we're gonna head to the monastery perhaps but wherever we go trouble will soon follow We haven't dealt with the trolls yet, and we haven't dealt with the second floor of the monastery yet. Those are a few things to keep in mind. Sentries, do you have anything to say? Please move a bit away. You are not new anymore. How do I meet the mayor? Best I got is this captain. Tell me something new, bro. Well met. Oh, come on. Tell me about the mayor, please. Yes, yes. Uh, surrounding area. Dragon Tooth Forest, Nest of Bandits, haven't been able to eliminate them. Hmm. Who would be happy that the giant's gone? What are you? Thank you for being so brave. Well, we'll see if the mayor is out. Can I, oh, you must have something to say what about can I it. Do for you? I heard about your exploits. It was a very good deed to kill those scoundrels. You are welcome. 
That's it. What can I do for you? Can I ask you a few things about your village? He examines you thoroughly. You look into his eyes. You may ask. Oh, don't ask much. I have things to do. How old is this village? About 30 years old. I'm the fourth mayor of Clive. Seems to be very prosperous. It is, and we're very proud of it. Unfortunately, we have some problems with Pikedale, but eventually we'll work that out. Are they pesky a bit? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to describe them. They simply don't recognize our sover sovereignty. Sover sovereignty. <laughs> do you conduct discussions? Yes, but the points of view are very different. I don't think I'm into politics. You are wise, mister. Thanks. Now for my questions. Do you have plenty of visitors? Not huge numbers, but a decent number of them. What kind of people? Good folks always welcome here, and for that reason, evil folks usually avoid this place. The evil ones are always too, way too smart. You are right, they can cause a lot of problems, and those problems can only be solved by the good ones. There's a powerful paladin roaming these lands. He spent some nights in my house and promised that he would come again. We haven't seen him lately. Where might he be now? Wish I knew. He seemed to be the adventuring type, so he might still... Might well be anywhere. Huh. I hope he lives, though. Do you think he could be in trouble? He seemed to be a very capable person, a mighty fighter and healer, but yes, why not? Every one of us can get into trouble sometimes. Yes, trouble's like a lurking beast stalking us. Oh, that was a nice line. Thank you. Um, who is that man? He has a strange name. I can't ever remember it. Hmm, a real stranger. How powerful is he? When one of our sentries looked like he was dying, the paladin just put his hands on him and he miraculously recovered in a day. I always admire their abilities. I think I should be leaving now. So that was the mayor. We've been talking to, although that was new dialogue. Well, let me go back and get some wine. I can't remember where the line is. Hmm, the paladin. stuff to sell. My female says, hey, I'm thirsty. I greet you. Talk to my husband, but don't expect too much. Well, I guess we're heading back to the monastery. After I unload a bit here. I greet you. Oh, I've got a lot. Of course, one plus two for five thousand. Rod of Wonder. Probably not going to use that. Well, I don't know. Magic ball. Will not buy stolen goods. Loves of the artificer. Club of smiting for twenty-one thousand. We'll keep that if we fight constructs. Whip plus two for five thousand. Another bag of holding. Slad's tongue for three. Oh, we have to go to the music merchant and turn that in, that's right. Deadly Blob will not... Black Forest Staff. We'll go ahead and 
and sell that rod of the ghost. We're gonna hang on to that. We'll put that in this bag of holding. Rod of resurrection, we'll put that in this bag of holding. So I'll put the magical items we're going to keep in this one. Pipes of the sewers. We can sell those. some scrolls, a bill, is that a plot item, yeah, Huntworven weapons, manual of poisons, worn diary, yada yada, yada yada, let's check out our gem bag, Natural Armor 1 for 400. Jacinth for 2160. Ion Stone for 1160. Wow. Fire Agate for 7. Fire Opal for 1000. Ruby for 2160. Angelar Skin for 72. Amber for 72. Fenelope for 14. So what do we do with this lesser Ion Stone? Dusty Rose, one use a day. Do we have to use it? Ah, oh, we do. And it does what? Increase your AC by one while active. I'm just gonna sell that. I don't seem to be using a lot of these potions, but they're good to have. Fire arrows go in this bag of holding. What is this magic bag? Oh my gosh. Bodax Tooth. Psy plus one. The Rod of Terror we're gonna keep. We'll put it in that one. And the Bar of Mithril for $17.99. Alrighty, does she have anything worth buying at this point? Is there anything in the game worth buying at this point? Long arm, no, still not worth it. I want to buy my iron wood back. I think that might be something to hang on to. And let's buy some more rope. How much will she give me for this heart of divine power? 2,000. I'm going to hang on to that too. Alright, so we go back to the monastery. Yeah, I think that's where we head. Thinking of leaving, are we? Hmm. 
Dragonbane Forest. in this monastery. I, I meant to, to check with the, uh, the elf and them that were in the monastery before heading back to it. But oh well. We'll keep our eye out for secrets. Right now we've got some skeletal devourers to take up arms with. Let's go. Let's see if we can do it without resting. Skeletal devours. Whoops. Barely injured, oh my god. some healing. The neighbor can use some healing. I gotta get out of there. Am I down? No, I'm stunned. I can't move. There we go. Oh, of course I move and I die. Alright. Let me get a different angle on this. Rest. Perish as you should. Hmm. Hello and welcome. What about our paladin, Lemire? Greetings, sure Can the paladin cast anything? Greetings, <laughs> I'm fork skinned. Greetings to you. Okay. Hello and welcome. Saga, you're untouchable. Casting them all on yourself. The 
someone else get a turn? There we go. And what does that do? Saving throws increased. My con is decreased. Immunity to mind spells and damage reduction. Wow. AC increased. Oh my goodness. Invisible. Wow, Sago. You are going to town. You are giving us the buffs. Still going. Oh, excuse me. Wonder how long these last. <laughs> wow, we can't lose with buffs like this. That's for sure. Making everybody invisible. Oh, now he's doing me? Thought I had these effects. My con is damaged. But the head thing is wearing off before we can get into battle. Alright, I'd say we're ready to go. Last one invisible. Let's go. Wow. Take a sneak attack. Whoa, who's this coming? Dang. Who is that? Vampire warriors and neighbors near death? Can I rush in and heal him? Ah, oh, Drano died. I got the neighbor though. And I died after all that buffing. And I didn't quick save. After the buffing. <laughs> well then. We're just gonna do the old school buff. Potion of Bless. And a Potion of Speed on Lamir. And we didn't even rest. But I'm confident. Oops. Why are you getting so close? Stand back and fire. Why do I have to get right next to him? Whoa. My attack. 
attack is ineffective. Pause. Arrows plus two have no effect. That's not good. One down. Make it rain fire on him. It's gotta be almost dead. Down it goes. Where'd those vampire warriors come from? Whoa. Whoops. Oh, now I can't rest here. There's enemies nearby. All right, let's check this place out. Quick save. Did I get some good XP for them at least? 103. Let's check this door. Why is my attack bugged? He's walking right up to them and... Oh, they're killing. And my attack has no effect. But I'm running right up to them like I'm using a melee weapon. Oh, I was... I don't have my bow on? There we go. Sturdy Banjoel on Lemire. Summon. I didn't even summon. There we go. And this is a good technique. Gotta be going down soon. 24. Go get that one. There we go. He's in trouble. Oh, 35. Dead. Wow, and each of these beds are checkable? Quick save. They were pretty tough though. What's this bed? Nothing. This bed? Greetings, oh. Nothing. Nothing. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. What's in this bed? Come on. Come on, peeps, you gotta work with me. Wow, they can still maze me with this hidden door. So that bed opened up a hidden door over here. Come on, stop getting in my way. Stop getting in my way. Wow, people are just moving and I can't Greetings to you. Get to what I'm trying to get to. Get out of the way. Oh my.
Chest. Short sword plus two. Ship ticket. This ticket grants you voyage by sea. Interesting, and 300 gold. Now what's in the coffin? I can't check the coffin. Now check the coffin. Nothing. Alright, but it hit a door. Does that mean if we have that ticket, we can should travel by sea now? Stand right in the portal, bro. Thank you. Whoops. Now I stood in the portal. Greetings to you. Oh my gosh. I wonder where it leads. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten in that portal. Where was the door I just went through? There was a treasure chest first. Yeah. There's blood. Well, this is getting interesting. Remember, a scholar was here searching for artifacts and said there was hidden rooms and stuff oh my skull key okay short sword plus two a rod of resurrection bag of holding a chime of opening hmm That can be sold. An emerald, which is worth a lot. And the blow blowed watch tunic. Plus two AC. Is that that's got no armor on it at all, but does that make me friendly to like people here? Is that like a if I go in another room, they won't attack me or something? Let's see what happens if I put that on. My AC stays 23, which is weird. Wow, it's actually even higher with, with that. Okay. Nope, they definitely attack. Wow, am I hasted wearing this? Alright, draw it on these healing. him. Close. Kill the vampire. We just lost Maber. Oh, that was all kinds of wicked. But we have a rod of resurrection, so I'm not tripping. I think this tunic gives me haste or something. Oh, it does have haste. There it is. Haste. I'm keeping this bad boy on. This is OP. 
By that I mean overpowered. Oh god, can I click Mayburn here even? Welcome back, Labor. Well, next. Alright, quick save. Time to check the beds. Nothing in that bed. 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 Oh! Founder's tablet. This tablet has 12 rows of text. However important it may be, you can't read it. And a harp of haunting. Animate dead, fear, and scare. Carved from old bones and strung with the bowstrings of dead heroes, these grim instruments are not often put on display. They are brutally effective in combat, however, and several famous bards have used them when circumstances made it necessary. Cool. Animate Dead Level 5. Potion of Eagle Splendor. What does that give? Charisma. Yeah, we can hang on to that. 350 gold. Alright, no hidden doors in here, but let's continue. Hmm, there's something in here. Wine. This wine was presumably made by a member of a foreign monastery. If it tastes what it looks, it may not be your all-time favorite. It's rumored to raise one's martial aptitude, but it's not been proven. We know where that's going. Ho ho ho. Another potion of invisibility. 46 gold. No hidden walls or anything. skins, I don't even want to know. Someone talk to me? Dang. Someone was going to tell me what's on this wall here because it looks cool. be there in a moment. I don't think so. Ah, succubus. Get her. Tuna says, hold on, I'll try something. Oh, they locked the door. Oh, you know what? That door is supposed to lock with me in it. Let's come back to that. Let's go to this door.
business down there. I hope he's getting hurt though. So is this skeleton warrior. Ouch. Okay, cool. We have to get ranged weapons for Lemire because he was trying to do something there and couldn't. Side, up the side. Nothing. Nothing. Coffin. Nothing. Bed. Oh, you done all got in front of the bed. Plus one, we can sell that. Silver necklace in the gem bag, 375 and 99. Paralytic bolts. Those are nice. Bolts of this type can stun their targets, though potency and duration are determined by power, the power of the bolt's creator. Those are pretty cool. And I want to check this bed and up it. This door. Alright, I use the banjo well. Who's that? Who just spawned? Get him, guys. Yeah. 
Please keep your distance. It's not, it's not locked. 254 gold. Got to be something else good in here. No, really, nothing. All right, one more. And if I cut out at any time here, I'm sorry. I'll just save and save it for the next episode. Locked. Oh, hello. Vampire priest. He's not going to last long. No. No way. drop anything there's a chest here Oops. wonder what that skull key goes to uh -huh. armor of the wolf while tan wolf hide does not offer the protection of other materials. Skilled artisans can infuse these suits with the animal spirit. Armor of the wolf is especially prized among the beast cults. Bonus versus shape changer plus three. Plus three and move silently plus two. I know who to give that to. She's back to being human. Alright, so we did find a relic or two here. A new wine. Prized musical instrument. I believe, right? There's only one room left. And it's this weird succubus room. So hopefully we can get this on camera. Is this what the skull key opens? Yep, okay. Everybody in. Everybody in. Everybody in. Come on. They're not going to follow me in? There we go. Hi. Um, what are you doing here? She has a very strange voice. They locked me here. Who, for Pallor's sake. She starts shaking convulsively. I am shocked at what I see. Succubus! Kill it quickly! It is near death. It's near death, it's dead. Hmm. Treasure. Another skull key. A planner, planner zircon. It's a piece of very rare substance. Jewelers and sorcerers are keen in finding these. And an ale. Just any old ale? What about this pile of bones? These seem to be the remnants of a dwarven warrior. Hmm. Who could the Dwarven Warrior be? Forge Fire. Bonus 1d6 fire damage plus 2. A legacy that Thalantir the Conjurer has said he would prefer to forget. These weapons are tied to his early adventuring career in a time when he was held captive by a mysterious powerful creature. He has refused to say how the weapons have retained the heat of the forge they were crafted in, 
usually ending such in inquiries with a frustrated prey you'll never find out. bones though can I resurrect that with a rod of resurrection I'm just crazy enough to give it a shot this object cannot be brought back from the dead Okay. Lost item skull key. Alright, it just came right back from her. Alright, well, we're done with the monastery. That was pretty quick. And, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Sure, we cleared this place out. How much time have we taken? 52. Okay, gotta say goodbye. Next episode, we will. Hmm, what are we gonna do next time? Trolls? Hmm, we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. Peace.